Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. My name is Susan. I'm a senior aviculturalist here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Um, to my left is Michelle. She's an assistant curator here um, for the bird and mammal team. And hopefully you all have figured out what's in this exhibit. They would be penguins. Yes, exactly. They are not black and white fluffy chickens or very odd ostriches that have learned how to swim. These guys are Magellantic penguins. What I'm doing right now is feeding our 20 penguins that we have here at the aquarium. Down the hatch it goes. That's gats. Um, here at the aquarium. The one that is again to my left, that's the bird, not the human. Um, his name is Gats. He's the youngest of the group. And an easy way to tell him apart from the others is he looks a little different. Um, from the backside, he looks a little the same, but if he turns around and heads back towards the water, you'll notice that he has a different front than the rest of them. He doesn't have that solid black, ooh, here we go. Ooh. Hold on. There we go. Uh, solid black band across his chest. Um, this is what's called a juvenile or teenage feathers, basically. Another kind of word for it. Um, he was hatched last year, and so he hasn't gone through his first full molt yet. Um, that's going to be happening here in the next couple of months. Um, I have a feeling that's why he's up here um, a little bit more just today is because he's going to be the first one to molt the season. They molt in order from the youngest to the oldest, and so since he is the youngest, um, as the months and weeks come on by, he's going to be up here more and more, eating more and more, because what happens when they molt is it uses a lot of energy, and what molting is is when they uh, lose or um, release all of their old feathers, and they grew in new feathers, and that takes a lot of energy, which you get energy from food. So for these guys, they start eating. Now, what we did here, to, Michelle, can you tell me how many fish um, Gats has eaten today? We got five. So he's eaten five, and that's about average for him. Maybe a little less some days, maybe a little bit more, but about five um, herring, and that's these guys, just in case you didn't know your fish. All right, this is a herring, and they swim like this. Yes, they do. <laughs> um, five herring, but as the weeks go on, he's going to eat six and seven and eight and nine and ten a day. Um, so he's going to put on a lot of weight, and I kind of, um, once they get gaining that weight, they kind of look like black and white bowling balls to me. They're, they're as round as they are tall, basically, and that really tells you that they're going to be molting. Um, once they start to molt, they pretty much go off feed, because if you're losing all your old feathers, all those old feathers are the waterproof ones. So if you've now lost all your waterproof feathers, you can't go in the water. You can't go in the water because underneath is all their down feathers that help them keep warm. They're not waterproof. So if they go in and they get all those down feathers wet, they're going to be cold, and that's, again, not going to help them stay waterproof. They're going to use more energy, and that's not beneficial. So they basically pack it on um, during this season, and then they molt. They kind of hang out here at the beach. We will make sure they get fed, or if they want to come over and eat, they're more than welcome to. And then you'll start seeing them lose their feathers, which is pretty darn funny. Um, we do have a uh, on camera on this uh, exhibit at all times, explore.org. It's over there. And uh, you are welcome to, if you're at work, you know, they, they talk about kind of looking away or kind of doing something for that five or 10 minutes. Get onto the website, check out what these guys are doing. Because um, it's kind of fun just to relax and just watch them, um, just, just float around. And then another really cool thing that we have going on is our nursery cam. Yeah, we have baby penguins. So they are on, um, again, explore.org as well. And we have uh, four of them currently, and you can see them, and you can see us feeding them. They're now eating uh, a larger fish or pieces of larger fish. Um, so if you've never seen a, penguin, a baby penguin, please go on and check out the little fluff balls and the cutest little things you've ever seen. Um, but those guys, like gats, are going to lose their fluffiness, get their juvenile feathers in, and then next year, especially if you guys are members or think you're becoming members, please come back and check them out to see what their patterns are. Now, sometimes people, you know, are like, oh, they kind of all look the same. But if you take just a few minutes and look at all the differences of who has polka dots, um, this one over here looks like he just has a black belly button. Um, how are you doing over there? We have more polka dots on this guy. We have one that has um, black more. So they each are individual and look different. But if you don't spend a lot of time with them, sometimes it's hard to figure those out. So the easy way and how I do it, I'll be honest with you, is look at the bands around their flippers. 
They each have a different color-coded band. There's one in here, Shim, that does not have a band. And there is one that does have a name, and that's Admiral on his um, flipper. But the rest of them have beads, and that's basically their ID bracelets. And they're color-coded, and you can check them out on the signs on either side of who is who. So if you see one that you just kind of made that connection with, and you're like, you know what? This one, I just feel like every time I come or today, he's just we're looking at each other, and you get that connection – Find out what its name is. Come check them out. See them again. Um, they're, they're each own individual um, personalities. And so it's, it's, hi there. Their own personalities. How's, how's it going? You can just kind of check me out. Ah! <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Back it up, guys. Um, for these animals. So they each have their own personality. And because of that, um, it's kind of fun to see what they're doing. Basically, he came over to say hi, and then she came over to say, uh-uh. Do I need to move? You're just going to put your beak in my pocket? I do not have any fish in there, I promise. No fish. <laughs> but again, these are Magellantic penguins from South um, America. We do have people ask a lot of times, where's the ice? Where's the snow? It's, you know, it's 78 degrees outside. How can they survive? Well, they're from South America. This is how they survive. Now, their water temperature is about 60 degrees, so the water is much cooler than it is out here. So if they need to cool down, in they go. And what that's going to do is it's going to put water on their feet and a water around their nares, around their beak, which doesn't have um, any feathers or less feathers. And because of that, they can cool off, and that blood circulates through the feet, back into their bodies, and it cools them down if they get too warm hanging out here in the sun. So again, um, find one that you like. Right now, this one is tickling me and going underneath my armpit. So I'm going to smoosh that way just a little bit. Thank you very much. But thank you. <laughs> We're just going to stand up. She's like, ha-ha, I will claim your mat. <laughs> but thank you guys for coming out to the aquarium today. Again, Michelle and myself, Susan, really appreciate it. So from us and the 20 penguins hanging out here today and the four that will hopefully be out here in a few months, we really appreciate you guys coming out. Enjoy your day. And um Again, come back and see us again. We'd really appreciate it. All right? Take care, everybody.